busy, busy, busy. Hi, Maggie. Hi, TJ. Hi, Hi Buster. Buster. I'm getting kind of excited. Me too. Hey, Buster, wait up. This is going to be such a good little movie. <sighs> School bus safety. That's what I think about all the time. Safety, safety, safety. Is everything ready, Buster? Yep, all ready. Let's start telling the girls and boys all about school bus safety. Where should we begin? Well, how about at the beginning? Oh, what a perfect place to start. Okay, let's go. Come on, start talking. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Yoinks! You're right! Getting ready for school. Action! Maggie, you're on. Uh, Don't be nervous, Maggie. You were perfect in rehearsal. When you're getting ready for school, it's very important to think safety, safety, safety. Wear the right clothes for today's weather. And be sure everything you need to take to school is tucked away in your pack. That way, you won't have to rush around looking for things before you leave the house. Remember your bus pass. You have to show your bus pass to the driver every single day. Good, good, good. When it's cold or wet out, wear the right things to keep you warm and dry. If the bus is late or breaks down on the way to school, you'll be glad you're wearing warm boots, a cozy jacket, mitts, a hat, and other snuggly things. Yikes! Oops. Now, make sure your scarf, belt, drawstrings, and other loose ends are tucked in carefully. They could get caught on something like the bus door or the handrail, and that wouldn't be safe. Going to the bus stop. Okay, TJ. Take it away. <clears throat> Tell me, Buster, have you given any thought to how children should get to the bus stop safely? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think about it all the time. And I'd like everyone else to think about it, too. If you have to cross a street on your way to or from the bus stop, be sure to do so only at a corner or a crosswalk. Remember to stop. Look in four directions for cars and other traffic. Listen, and when it's safe to go, put your arm out and walk across the street. Keep looking for cars and other vehicles all the time you're crossing. It's a good idea to arrive at the bus stop five minutes early. You should never have to run to catch the bus, because if you're in a hurry, you might not be careful crossing the street. Yikes! What's next? At the bus stop. Here we are at the bus stop, and we're still thinking about safety, safety, safety. Never ever push or shove or run around, because someone could fall down and get hurt. Yikes! Or someone could get pushed onto the street in front of a car or under the wheels of a bus, and that would be very dangerous. Look, TJ. Look, Buster. I can see the bus coming. What should we do now? Good question, Maggie. Form a single line with the youngest children at the front of the line. And take at least two giant steps back from the side of the street. If you're not two giant steps back when the bus arrives, you'll be standing inside the area that's called the danger zone. Yikes! And that means you're too close to the bus to be safe. Look at these clever children. They're waiting in single file, and no one's in the danger zone. Do you have your bus pass ready to show the driver? Oh, yes. Good, 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 good. Getting on the bus. Buster, is there a right and wrong way to get on the bus? Oh, yes, 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 TJ. There certainly is. The danger zone goes all the way around the bus. 
So, wait until the bus comes to a complete stop and the driver opens the doors before you step toward the bus. To get on the bus, you have to walk through the danger zone. So, no running and no pushing. Hold on to the handrail every time you get on or off the bus. And watch your step. It's a big one. Be sure to show your bus pass to the driver and then go straight to your seat and sit down. Because if you stop to talk or stand blocking the aisle, some of the children behind you will be left in the danger zone. Yikes! Uh-oh. Here's another good reason for giving yourself lots of time to get to the bus. If you're late, you'll keep everyone else waiting. And that isn't fair. Riding the bus. Now that everyone's safe inside and sitting down, maybe you should talk about safety while riding the bus. Always sit facing forward and don't leave your seat until it's time to get off the bus. Yes! Good, 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 good. Never leave anything in the aisles. Someone could trip over it and fall down. And of course, you would never throw anything in the bus, would you? Yikes! Don't ever yell or talk loud. The noise can distract the driver, and that might cause an accident. And always follow the safety rules the bus driver tells you about. Always. Never eat or drink when you're on the school bus. You could choke, and that would be very scary. Make sure you know where the emergency exits are and learn how to use them. If the driver tells you to leave the bus by the emergency door, be sure to go quickly and quietly in single file. Never, ever put your hand or anything else outside the window. Remember, the danger zone goes all the way around the bus, even when the bus is moving. And what do you think Buster would say if you were to throw something out the window? That's right, yoikes. So, talk to your friends. Or read a book. Or tell a joke. Or solve a riddle. Or make a funny face. Or count to ten. But please, 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 girls and boys, always think safety, safety, safety. Getting off the bus at school. And now, getting safely off the bus at school. Ta-da! Stay in your seat until the bus has stopped moving and the door is open. Then, leave the bus in single file, starting with the children at the front of the bus. And please, don't push or shove. Don't forget to use the handrail and watch out for that big step. Now remember, you have to walk through the danger zone again. So, as soon as you step down, take two giant steps away from the bus. Then, never, never, ever go back into the danger zone for any reason. If you drop something and it rolls inside the danger zone or under the bus, don't go back for it. Ask the bus driver or another adult to get it for you. Then go straight into your school. Going home from school. Right after school, gather up your things and go straight to the bus stop. If you ever miss your bus, don't walk home and don't accept a ride with anyone. If you get into a car, no one will know where you are and that's not safe. Instead, walk right back into school, go to the office, and ask an adult what you should do. Don't get off the bus until you're very sure you're at the right stop. It would be frightening if you got off and didn't know where you were. Yikes! Never be afraid to ask your bus driver to help you get off at the right stop. Stay at the bus stop until the bus has driven away. Then walk 
walk straight home. If you must cross a street, walk to the corner, crosswalk, or intersection. Stop. Look in four directions to see if a car or other vehicle is coming. Listen. And when it's safe to go, hold your arms straight out and cross the road. Make sure you keep looking for vehicles all the time you're crossing the road. There. Did you understand all those safety rules? Yeah! You did? Oh, good, 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 good. Thanks, Maggie. Thanks, TJ. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome, Buster. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Safety, safety, Thank safety. Thank you, Buster. Bye-bye. Safe song about the yellow bus. And safety rules for all of us. We can be safe and we can be cool. We can ride safely to our school. Bye, Nancy, when we know the